Well, hello, good morning. It's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again off on another one of our transport adventures. And from the uh, corporate gear, you can uh, see we're at the Northwest Vehicle Restoration Trust premises at Kirby near Liverpool. And uh, what are you going to see here? Well, <laughs> I sort of let's say we shall see what we sh shall see. So it's not a public event, this is a day for members of the Trust. And we're gathering here after a very stormy night and there's some uh, nice lakes along the roads coming up from Cheshire. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to crack on, get some shots. I don't know what we're really going to see at all, so uh, we'll find out when we get there, won't we? Bye for now. I know the regular viewers will already know that uh, the ex-Liverpool Atlantean, uh, which went over to the Isle of Man, is here as part of a sort of uh, a loan process. And uh, we've already had one loan for a year with the vehicle from the uh, Selnick collection. And this time we extend our uh, friendship and exchanges with the uh, residency for a year of the uh, Isle of Man Transport Collections uh, Atlantean and certainly has lots of local connections to uh, our Kirby operation. I think our bus collection seems to sort of breed while we uh, turn our back. There seems to be new buses arriving but I guess a few old favourites disappear. Kirby Stephen do and uh, also the uh, Witness Hall 15 event. There is a reason for this particular hall, the whole thing is built around stops at uh, depots, premises with uh, connections, I think this is the Fairway Depot uh, where it's now a uh, builder's yard. last one in the row is the one that we've been travelling on nice and steady on the uh, Palatine that's London of course this is our steed and it's hoped to have it all uh, painted up ready for our open day in June
Fyra och bit är ju stora än Pipeline View. Det är bara Pipeline View, visst det? today and uh, we've had a ride and everything else and uh, now we're going to have a go on one of the uh, Ripple's PD3s and I've uh, always got a soft spot for these and uh, rather hoping because it's chuck it down with rain now that the uh, rear windows clear so perhaps somebody wants to tuck themselves in behind them and I could, uh, I could get some shots at the rear window
Liverpool depot was. Oh, is it? I've been in a few towns, but it's actually as mine because it's a broad. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, Arriva Boothal depot. They've not had a line up like this for a while there. Coaches Gilmos depot now. Perhaps, uh, yes, I'll tell you that our convoy is somewhat shrunk as we head back to Kirby. Certainly covered some territory and uh, seen some bus related locations. Well, we're there at the end of a very busy day of bricing and we've been to numerous locations and encountered all sorts of weather. So, uh, perhaps it's time to make our farewells. Well, hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer and we've come to the end of a very action-packed day courtesy of the Northwest Vehicle Restoration Trust and we've been all around Merseyside looking at locations that have got uh, a significance for bus history such as bus stations, bus depots etc, past and present. Anyway, we've enjoyed the, uh, the use of uh, what do we have? Four buses? <laughs> We've only got one at the moment, but uh, some of them went to uh, other destinations for uh, overnighting. Anyway, it's been a pleasure having you along with us, always is, and uh, remember, stay well, stay safe, be good, and if you can, be kind to other people. On behalf of Mandy, back at home, and myself, God bless, and we'll see you all again in the near future. Bye everybody, goodbye.